And welcome back to Ozarks Live. We have a familiar face with us today, Tyler Gardner from Christian Construction. Tyler, good to see you. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good, given all the circumstances. Yeah, uh, truth. <laughs> <laughs> compared, compared to other people, I'm doing great, man. Okay, How you doing? Now, I'm, I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. You know, there, there's a lot yeah. going on in the world right now. So let's go to first things first. Talk to me about what you're doing to prevent putting your customers at risk from contracting COVID-19. Yeah, uh, that's a great question. So, um, you know, first of all, most of what we do uh, in the field is just inspections and construction work. Uh, typically, we would go inside and, and present um you know the shingle different shingle options stuff like that we've yeah. actually converted to a full virtual system so we can do that over calls like this just like i meet with you today uh and so we actually don't have to go in anybody's homes as far as doing the inspection we don't have to interact with anybody as, as a matter of fact we'd rather not at this point <laughs> uh, okay so you're just doing the safe and smart things staying keeping distant in other words Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, but still getting the job done. Now, you know, we've just gotten into storm season. What should people do if, for instance, they get hail damage in one of these storms that are moving through? Yeah, so the first thing to do is call a storm restoration contractor, uh, somebody like me who uh, specializes in repairing storm damage properties. Uh, probably the largest mistake uh, we hear people make is they call their insurance company uh, not knowing if they have damage or not. And actually, if you file those claims, uh, get somebody from them to come inspect it, it could, it could affect your rates in the future. So uh, the first thing to do would be to call a storm restoration contractor uh, and just see if you do have damage uh, to proceed with that side of the process. Yeah, and then, okay, then, then once they do that, tell me about how your process works. <laughs> yeah, so we come out, we do a virtual inspection. So uh, you know, just depending on the property, we can put drones in the air and, and look at the property or, or we'll put a project manager on the roof. Uh, we'll put a detailed inspection together. It'll be about 300 photos uh, with a full inspection report. And then, uh, you know, we'll send all that to you for your record. So even if you don't have damage, uh, <clears throat> you know, you can get that inspection done and it'll be, you know, in your records that, you know, you had it inspected on that day. And you didn't have damage for your for the future. All right. So in, in other words, it, it sounds as though you're doing business as usual with the exception of the face to face kind of, of meeting with people. Do you, do you guys use uh, subcontractors, by the way? Uh, no, no. All these guys are our crews. Um, you know, uh, some stuff we do sub out, you know, like, um, you know, a lot of times windows are busted and stuff like that. I don't have window people on staff, but as far as my roofing crews and my interior crews, they're all my guys. All right. Well, Tyler Gardner from Christian Construction. Tell folks if they want to get more information from you, how do they do it? 844-360-ROOF or www.christianconstruction.us. All right. Tyler, thanks for talking with us today and stay safe. All right? Absolutely. Y'all have a good one. Take care. We'll be right yeah. back.